Hello, didn't see you there. Good morning and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today on the channel is a day that I'm sure is going to make a lot of you happy. The blazer is going away for a pretty good amount of time. That's right, it's gone off to have the exoskeleton built and I really don't know, you know, I think I really trust in myself and I trust in the blazer. I think it's gonna turn out awesome, but if it doesn't, I mean, the blazer has lived a really long and quite glorious life. Um, we've made a ton of memories with it. It's definitely served its purpose on the channel and although, like I'm hoping for it, it's as if the, the blazer's going in for like, open heart surgery and brain surgery. And I, you know, he's a great member of the family. I love him, I'm hoping he pulls through, but it's like, it's looking maybe 50-50 at this point. If we can pull it off, and I have faith in Cole, I know he can do it. Uh, if we can pull it off, it's gonna be epic. I mean, picture the blazer with an exoskeleton on 37s. I mean, it will be very cool, but let's get him loaded up on the trailer and get moving. In other cool automotive news, the uh, I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but I'm probably tonight. Um, and earlier today, Ford released the official horsepower numbers for the 2020 GT500. Very cool, 760 horsepower, which is a lot. That's more than a ZR1. That's like almost as much as a Demon. And I know, like the I already saw the Dodge guys. Oh well, Dodge has been doing this since 2015 or whatever. But you know what? The thing about the GT500 is it's not like a 15 year old platform and Dodge has done a great job with the Challengers and the Chargers, they've done great. But it's a really old dinosaur of a car. It's extremely heavy. Uh, the Trans is good. I can't really complain about the ZF8 speed. That's, you know, that's pretty good. I prefer a dual clutch, uh, which the GT500 has. But, um, you know, the GT500 is a much lighter, much more modern car. It's gonna utilize that power a lot better. I guarantee you, in any straight line race, maybe not a drag race because, you know, like a Demon is set up for drag racing, but if you put if you put the, both of those cars on the same tire, on the same surface, the GT500 is gonna embarrass it every single time. Long story short, it's definitely awesome and I definitely want one, as I've said before. Now, I don't have a whole lot of pool with Ford. Um, now, I've made a lot of cool Ford videos, so maybe I can try to pull something, but I don't have like any contacts at Ford. Um, God, that guy is flying. Uh, but I'm gonna see what I can do. Now, from a content perspective, it would definitely make sense for me to get one early. Now, if I can't get one early, I may still get one, but my ideal scenario is, because of YouTube, obviously, is to get one early. Kind of like with the ZR1. You know, I'm still a pretty relevant search result with the car, even though I didn't have it for that long and I don't have one anymore. But I was the first one to put it on a dyno and the first one to drag race it and get into the tens and tens period, but tens also with a manual, which was extra cool. We're still pretty far out from deliveries, but I definitely would love to get one. It is slowly eating away at my soul not to have a fun, fast car for the driving season. Slowly but surely, it's being eaten away day by day. And then the traffic. That makes it all better. Good boys back at Regal Metalworks. Check them out on YouTube and Instagram. And I, I mean, Cole is a very talented guy and he's gonna need that talent because he's gonna have to work some magic on this thing. Very cool brand new uh, Jeep. I think the new ones are JLs, I believe they are called. Very cool. Let's get the Blazer backed up and uh, see what we can do. Oh, no. Oh, are you ready? It's like a hot mess. Dude, it's, oh, it's definitely a hot mess. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. It's a hot mess. Is that mud or is that green? That's green. Oh. Yeah, that's spray painted. Uh, That's the finest Home Depot brand spray paint of Army Green. Yeah. 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 So I'm not looking for like, it doesn't got to be perfect. Hey, poppers. Woo! <laughs> I'm just looking for a cool cage and I have a little drawing that I got for you. Okay, drawings are good. That I made on Microsoft Paint. Okay. 
Okay, well, we did a lot of talking, a lot of planning with the Blazer. There he is. And uh, for you guys that don't want to see Blazer stuff, well, you get your wish now because he's not going to be back for a while. But I really feel like after the talk, I feel good. He feels confident, and I think we can make it very cool. I think we can. Thank you! I think we can make it cool. I think it's going to work out. And uh, you guys, like, if it does work out, this is going to be the craziest blazer build ever. I can't wait. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I have faith. I'm on the bicycle here, which a lot of people are asking, like, Mike, do you have kids that we don't know about? No, this is for the dogs because we're insane. We tow our dogs around the neighborhood. Um, but anyway, uh, I did not expect to be making this upload about the blazer. I thought I was just going to drop it off and that'd be it. Um, either way, the blazer was, I guess, going away. At least one video is going to go away for a while. Now it might go away permanently. Um, but basically, Cole dove right into it pretty much you know, shortly after I dropped it off. And what he found was after he cut away the sides and he was looking at the frame and everything and how he was going to do this whole cage, this whole exoskeleton, he found that there were a couple of um, like cracks and stress areas in the frame. And basically, if this was any road going, which doesn't surprise me also because my God, look at what I put that truck through. The fact that it hasn't like completely just folded in half yet is kind of blows my mind. Um, but if this was any like road going normal vehicle, that would be it. Like, you know, once you have, and, and some of them, I mean, there's a lot of like little areas where the frame is clearly like bending and it's not made to do what I've been making it do. Um, so a normal vehicle, obviously that would be the end of it. That would be like, okay, your truck is totaled, like it's not safe to drive, like it's time to say goodbye. Now he can fix it pretty well. Um, it's not something that I, I would take on a road, but it's not going to be on the road anyway. I mean, I might drive it to like McDonald's or something, but it's not gonna be like a road worthy vehicle in the first place. It's just gonna be for off-roading at this point. Um, but I'm left with the decision, you know, what should I do? You know, now the Blazer content has really, I mean, run its course. I mean, you guys saw the rundown of all the videos and I've done just about, I've done everything you can do, I think, with an old truck. I feel like I've done it all and that's why I'm going some, a completely different route. Like I'm going a crazy route of doing full exo and a full exo cage and all that stuff. And it is going to be awesome when it's done, if we do it. But should I just accept that the Blazer is done and you know that I'm sure the views, you know, I'm sure people have gotten their fill of Blazer content. The only thing that would be nice is that getting rid of the Blazer would free up some space. And I want to get another car here and I'm trying to, I'm looking right now at what I want to get and I'm working on a deal. Um, sick, sick of waiting on the McLaren, sick of waiting on the Grandpa Vet, so I want to get a car for racing season and a cool car and something that you guys are going to love and something that I've been really wanting for a while now. I've been trying to get, get into one of these. Maybe you can guess what it is. Um, but uh, not that selling the Blazer, and I wouldn't sell it. I would just junk it, obviously. Um, but not that it's worth any money to me, but it would be nice to free up some space. I have the Duramax, which isn't going anywhere. I got the OBS build. That's coming along great. I love that truck. I've been driving it now as like a daily driver. Got the Jeep, got the two Corrados, got the Grandpa Vet and the McLaren. I got seven vehicles and the Blazer, if I didn't count that, that's eight. Maybe I did count it, I don't know. But <laughs> you know it's bad when you have so many cars you don't even remember like how many you have. But it would be nice to free up some space. I don't have like a huge garage. I got uh, two bays that I use and then my girlfriend uses that bay and I'm not kicking her out because that's insane. Um, that's just, like if you have a hobby where you're clearing out other people's stuff, you got too much crap. That's Clue number one, that's like when people buy a storage unit for their stuff. If you have to put your stuff in a storage unit, you got too much crap. So I got three bays I can use here, and I don't know, I just feel like I would like to start kind of cleaning things out, but we'll see, we'll see. Let me know in the comments. Getting rid of the Blazer would also allow me to focus all my time and energy on the green, well, most of my time and energy on the green OBS build, and this truck is coming along really well. I do also have the Jeep for off-roading. Now, it is cool to see like a Blazer doing off-roading because you don't see that often, and Jeeps are really common, uh, but I haven't even gotten this to the off-road park yet, so it's not like I need an off-roader. I got one, it's sitting here, um, so I don't know. Again, let me know in the comments. I'm kind of conflicted, but 
I feel like maybe I should just let it go. What we're doing right now is going to pick up some wheels and tires for a Mustang. Now, why a Mustang? Well, that's because my buddy Bobby, RF Racing on YouTube and Instagram, check him out if you have not already, has a 2011 Mustang GT that he's been wanting to start modifying and doing some stuff with, and he has been actually, if you check out his channel. Um, but he hates the wheels that are on it. Now, I don't really mind the wheels. They're like the, uh, you would call them like the torque thrust style wheels, like like the same wheels you see on a lot of old muscle cars. I don't mind them. Uh, I do think they're a little too small. They're 18s, which for that car, I think you need 19s or, or 20s to make it look good. Um, but he hates them. So I found a really good, and he's been looking off and on, and wheels, as you know, are expensive. He's got a small budget. But I found a set of track pack wheels from a newer Mustang on Craigslist, and uh, I'm going to pick them up right now. I think they're going to look really good, and I think he's going to love them. So we'll go pick them up, uh, see what we got, and then we'll put them on his car. He drove his truck to work, so I'm going over to his house, stealing his Mustang, and then putting them on, and then we'll film his reaction when it's all done. But it should be... I think it's gonna be really cool. I think he's gonna like it. Don't know if you guys can see, but the gentleman up there is like staring intently at the truck. So that might be our guy. That might be our guy. I don't know. He's got an America shirt on. Well, here they come. All right, well, I guess we'll find out. I, was gonna say, I could have swore I was like, I know that guy, but I didn't think he'd be all the way out here. So that's why it like, yeah. didn't make sense. All right, this is our guy. He's in a Ford, it's gotta be him. Howdy. Hey, we took the truck out of here. <laughs> Not that big, but. Eric. Eric, Mike, nice to meet you. The tires, like, they, they all have air in them, and they're, like, ready to mount. Hey. Easy as that. Pretty, uh, pretty good deal. And they're actually, like, they're like gunmetal, they're not bright silver, which is actually cooler than what I thought they were. They look a lot brighter in the pictures, but this is gonna look great on his car. Here you can see the car, and I told him that we were taking it to Shane's to do uh, R&D, we needed it for R&D for uh, window flag decals, like the little quarter window back there. Uh, but this is the car, again, I don't mind the wheels that much, but he really hates them. And I do, they are a little small and a little like dated looking. I think the track pack wheels are gonna look sick and they are bigger they are a size up which is really nice and here is a side profile shot kind of zoomed out a little bit but yeah not bad but we're gonna make it look a lot better plus for you guys that want to see car content well i'm driving a car and it's a manual one which it's been a been a while the mustang shifters are so like so notchy like that's first gear second so small like the corvette would be like up here and all the way back but I actually really like the way Mustangs drive. I think they drive really nice. Some people make fun of them, but they're actually, they're good. They have a great clutch feel. And they sound really good. <laughs> value you can have a blast for not a whole lot of money and it's a properly quick car even the older gen like this one has 420 horsepower that's that's a lot that's no slouch there goes Bobby <laughs> I don't think he knew it was me I really miss having a fun car I really and this is making it so much worse and I think the next one I get and the one I'm, I've been looking at as I've said in earlier in the vlog it is a manual I really missed having a manual and this is awesome like god I miss this so much got big truck backing up but the fact that like with a manual you can just you can just drop the clutch anytime is awesome Okay, and now the weather has gone to crap, but we got the Mustang back. By the way, knivesdeal.com. Check them out for all your knife and airsoft gun needs. They got some really cool stuff run by our friend Vin. Uh, promo code STREETSPEED717 for 10% off. Again, knivesdeal.com. 
Com. Always got a plug here and there. I got to plug my boy's business. And they do have some really cool stuff and really cool airsoft guns. Um, they sent me here, actually. They sent me this one that I've been playing with. And the M14 over here is really cool. I love the M14. Anyway, the Mustang is back. And uh, now we're just waiting for Bobby to come over after work. He thinks he's coming over for dinner. And uh, we'll see what he thinks. I love it. The suspension actually did settle a little bit. So it doesn't look so crazy. I still want to get a bigger back tire for sure maybe a little bigger on the front but it looks epic i it's so much better i really really like it <laughs> tell me when i can open them okay i'll tell you not yet Oh my god. You got 2014 track pack wheels now. Oh my god, where did you get these? On Facebook Marketplace. Holy sh I'm sorry for swearing. Did you even see in the Holy back of the dude? I was worried, I was like, he's changing his shirt. Did you see in the back of the truck? Oh my god, dude. You didn't <laughs> see these when you were changing your shirt? No, dude. I thought you were gonna like put a stupid little decal on it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm like shaking. Oh my god, dude. It looks you way, me it looks way better now. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? It looks way better. Holy sh Dude, oh my god, this is like my biggest hang up with the car was like the stupid wheels. Oh my god. I'm glad you like them. Dude, I was worried you weren't gonna like them. No, I dude, because I, I came driving, I was driving on the street today and I was like, dude, this car, like I saw you passing, like, man, this uh -huh. car sucks. <laughs> like I was like, this car, like it just doesn't look good, but this, it's like